ABC 7 at 4. I'm Shelby Montgomery. Mark Ross has the day off. We begin the second half hour honoring John Lewis. Let's take a live look of Lewis's body lying in state as hundreds come out to honor the civil rights legend and congressman who died this month at the age of 80. Lewis's body was taken to the U.S. Capitol just today. This weekend was full of events celebrating his life and legacy. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest from Washington. The body of John Lewis was led by police escort on a touching farewell tour of some of Washington's most iconic landmarks, the Martin Luther King Memorial, the National Museum of African American History, and Black Lives Matter Plaza, where he made one of his last public appearances. A final journey through the nation's capital before lying in state at the Capitol Rotunda. Here in Congress, John was revered and beloved on both sides of the aisle, on both sides of the Capitol. The civil rights icon represented Georgia in the House for more than 30 years, where today lawmakers in the lower chamber unanimously voted to rename a voting rights bill after him, a fitting tribute for the man credited with changing history. Today, we pray and trust that this peacemaker himself now rests in peace. Both former Vice President Biden and Vice President Pence are expected to pay their respects as Lewis lies in state. However, President Trump says he will not. The two had a contentious relationship. Lewis skipped Trump's inaugural address and each of his State of the Union addresses except this year's. In Lewis's home state of Alabama, red rose petals scattered on the Edmund Pettus Bridge, where he marched and bled for the right to vote on March 7, 1965, the date later became known as Bloody Sunday. This past Sunday, he crossed that bridge one last time. Lewis returned to the bridge in Selma year after year, bringing bipartisan delegations with him, most notably in 2015 with President Obama, who credited Lewis with helping to make his presidency possible. Lewis wasn't just a powerful advocate for African American rights, he was widely admired because of his principled stand for justice for all groups, including for the rights of LGBTQ Americans, the parents and children of immigrants held in camps while seeking asylum, and for the many victims of gun violence in America. Lewis's body will be taken outside of the Capitol tomorrow, where he will lie in state, and people can pay their respects while still staying safe during the coronavirus pandemic. Rena Roy, ABC News, Washington.